Fun strats, Mark Newton. It's good to see you again. I got two Thank numbers you. on my mind, all right? Uh, 4,200 right. S&P. Got closer there today before backing off. I just looked at the VIX. I mean, we might go 15 while we're having this conversation. What do we make of both? The VIX should be heading lower. There's nothing that has really spooked the market in the last month since it peaked in, in mid-March. So the VIX is down about 50 percent. Stocks have slowly grinded higher. Those are conditions where the VIX typically falls. Lower than I this? actually I actually see an upcoming bottom in the VIX likely this week. It could start right near the Fed meeting. Um, even though I still expect the market to be higher this month, at least into mid-month, um, the VIX very well might bottom and then make a secondary low. For why reasons did, such did, as the front does, month. Why does the VIX go lower into the Fed meeting? Uh, it, it's on a severe downward spiral right now, and the VIX has been going down for a month and a half. It's dropped sharply. There's no reason to try to time the bottom unless you look at things like spot VIX compared to back month. And there's a huge contango right now. You look at the VIX is at under 16, and August VIX, I believe, is at 22. So there are a few things I look at that suggest we're close to a bottom and implied volatility. That doesn't mean the market has to sell off violently, but I think you probably will get some sort of a reaction near the Fed. Uh, the real key is going to be technology. Look, I, I think the risks are rising in May. I call it, you know, the three S's. The first is, of course, seasonality. We have exited sort of the golden period of pre-election seasonality, which starts in October, ends in April. Mm -hmm. We're out of that period officially. Uh, sentiment has recognized this rally over the last four out of five weeks. I mean, we've seen things like fear and greed, investors' intelligence have all risen. We saw levels near 25 in March. Now they're up near 65. Uh, that is worth paying attention to. Sector rotation, probably the most important. Uh, so we've seen a huge uptick in defensive trading in the last month. If you look at an equal weighted basis, the top five sectors are real estate, discretionary, utilities, mm -hmm. staples, and healthcare. So those are all extremely defensive. Technology, if on an equal weighted basis, actually is down over the last month. But you so, think technology is vulnerable if, if we're going to have some May choppiness? I think tech is close to stalling out, and that should happen this month, and we should actually retreat in technology. And now, I'm not saying sell tech and go away. I'm thinking that tech has had a big run. You've seen equal-weighted tech break down versus the equal-weighted S&P thanks to semiconductor weakness, uh, software. It's really been FANG that's really helped to disguise so, technology, and that's going to be something to pay attention to.